have a message for you. In a few minutes, Pastor Amanda will read to us from the Gospel according to John. And it says that everybody is gathered in Jerusalem to celebrate a festival. They're there celebrating the Festival of Booths, which remembers the ways that God provided for the Israelites in the wilderness after liberating them from Egypt. Does anybody remember any of the ways that God provided for the Israelites in the wilderness after liberating them from Egypt? Manna. Manna, that's one. Quail, that's two. They had manna and quail to eat um, so that they didn't go hungry. And there was water from the rock. In places where there was no clean water available to drink, God provided water for them. And each one of these gifts meant the difference between life and death for the Israelites. But each one had to happen again and again. Every day, they were hungry. Every day, they were thirsty. Any of you who've had children know that every day they're hungry and every day they're thirsty and you have to feed them again and again and again. Well, we're no longer wandering in the wilderness, but God continues to provide for us. In our gospel reading, we will hear Jesus say, let anyone who is thirsty come to me. Earlier, Jesus had described himself as living water. The love that forgives and life that lasts forever with God. And so he tells them to come to him and know God's love and forgiveness and peace every day of their lives or every day of our lives. But then Jesus says, out of, belie out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. When God fills us with this love and peace and forgiveness, it's more than what we can hold. Just like if you take a cup and you put it at the sink and you turn the faucet on and you let it go, the cup fills up and then what happens? It overflows, it keeps going. God fills us with love and peace and forgiveness in such a way that it overflows from us for the rest of the world that we have been blessed by God in order to bless all of those around us. So let's pray. You can repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus give us your living water, give us your living water that, we might share it with the world. that we might share it with the world. Amen. Amen. Remember that God goes with you everywhere you go.